Hey there, fellow guitar enthusiasts. I'm Jason Carey, and I've got something special for you today. We're diving into Chris Stapleton's White Horse. Yeah, a song that's going to make your guitar skills shine. Whether you're just starting out on your journey or you've been rocking for a while, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll master every chord, riff, strum pattern, melody, and even the killer guitar solos. You'll be ready to add this gem to your repertoire and enjoy every strum. That's not all. Stick around until the end for our brand new feature, a free guitar quick tip that'll accelerate your guitar journey. We've made this lesson super convenient for you. You'll find chapter markers in the video description so you can easily jump to the sections you want to focus on. Ready to conquer White Horse? Let's jump into the spacious intro section where the guitar pattern emerges kind of like magic. Don't forget, we're using capo number five, and you can grab the free detailed five-page lesson pack in the video description. Capo number five, and we're working with A5. So what we've just done here is we're going to do this slowly, but the, the tablature, like I said, is in the description, so grab that. And we're starting with a combination roll. So open A, and then we're running up to fret 5. We're going to call this fret 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, even though, even though we're really on fret number 10. You can watch my left and right hands. I've got a forward roll into a reverse roll. Repeat that again. And then we go into a forward, into a combination roll, okay? And then, the second time around, we move up to E minor. Okay? All right. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's crank up the drama with riff number one. It's the secret sauce that links us from the intro into the verse and later from the chorus back into the verse. Get ready to ignite the heat. Here we go. <laughs> So we're starting with again with A5, up to the A5 from the low, low open E string. Just a little blues lick from open to low E on open to fret three on the low E string, hammer on, right? So down, 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 skip that upstroke, and then down, up, right? Get ready to ignite the heat, and here we go. The verse is as cool as it gets. You'll love this part. All of the chords you need are in the free lesson pack in the video description. The first time we hit the verse, it feels like it's about to explode, but it takes its time floating in suspended animation, kind of. Let's dive into the verse now. Two, two, done. <laughs> So we're starting with F major seven. We began with a hammer on with a second finger. And then we end up with a hammer on on finger one when we get to the A minor shape. Get ready for the chorus, which has the energy of driving the Alaskan highway. Maybe even a little mosh pit vibe. It's a wild ride, almost like a 90s concert, you know? Let's explore this part. Before we get into that, we can't forget the break that breaks us into the chorus. And it's a really simple one, two, and three, and four, and one, two. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Here's the chorus. Ready, two, two. The 
eighth bar in the in the chorus is basically a measure of two four, so keep an eye out on that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Here comes the guitar solo. Just like your younger self exploring Sweet Child of Mine, it's a favorite part. Let's kick it up and dive into that fantastic solo. Rocking forward into the solo that leads into this D note. And then we just got to get the, the bends correct, right? Got to bend a whole step. Make it sound like fret number nine. And then when we descend that, when we pull that bend back down, we also land in a pull off on fret number five from number seven, right? And then we slide from fret seven up to fret nine and give it a heck of a vibrato. Right? And then we walk up to another really a step one one and a half step bend huh and then we repeat it and then we slide but the second time around that finishes the solo we only bend a half step right and then finish up the solo there. If you have questions, just, you know, let me know and we'll continue on. Okay, you've nailed the entire song and gained new techniques along the way. The more you play, the more you'll make it your own. That's the cool part of the journey, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, ringing the bell. We love making music with you, so share your thoughts, suggestions, and requests. We're here to rock this channel together. All right, it's time for today's guitar quick tip. In this segment, we're going to talk about an essential technique that will help you take your guitar playing to the next level. And today's tip, mastering dynamics. And dynamics are all about controlling the volume and intensity of your playing, whether you're strumming a gentle ballad, or rocking out to a high energy riff. Understanding dynamics is key to adding depth and emotion to your music. Start by experimenting with soft and loud strumming or picking. Practice transitioning between them smoothly and pay attention to how it changes the mood of the music. You'll be amazed at how this simple technique can make your playing more expressive. So remember to incorporate dynamics into your practice routine. It's a small change that can make a big difference in your guitar playing. Now thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more guitar quick tips in future lessons. And until then, keep strumming, keep learning, and keep the music alive. Mm -hmm.